to the Lizzie Lizzie show. Before we start, or before I start to talk, I want to let you know that the car is shaking because it's an old car and it shakes a little bit when I go over 55. I'm doing 60 right now. I know, I'm a rebel. Now listen, today's topic is this. Now I'm really passionate about this topic and I'm sure a lot of you have thought about it too. What's going on right now in the world, right? Depending on where you live, we have two problems. All right, I'm turning the car right now. I'm gonna take it slow as I ease into this topic. By the way, before I talk about this topic, do not say that there's anything wrong with me talking while I'm driving. Pretend like you're in this passenger seat. It's the same thing, all right? I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm looking straight. I'm focused on the road, but I could also talk. So I'm gonna focus on the road and I'm also gonna talk at the same time. Pretend you're sitting right here, it's the same thing. All right, are you ready? Are you ready for my topic? But wait, before I talk about my topic, I have this great invention. Now, if any of you have money and you wanna patent it, please do and then share the wealth. Here's my idea. I absolutely have so much respect for truckers. Now, this can be used for more than just truckers, but here's how the idea came to me. I wish I had a giant hand. I know what you're thinking. No, 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 don't be rude. Don't give the middle finger. That came out of the car and waved to the truckers or gave them like a high five or a thumbs up. No middle finger, stop it. I know that's what you're thinking first thing. No, no, no. We wanna be nice, all right? They're out on the roads constantly, all the time. All the time, 20 years, 40 years, two years, congratulations. You could also use the hand to wave people down when they're in the parking lot and they can't find their car. Why? A beep is not enough. When you hear a beep, you don't know where it's coming from. You need a giant hand to wave. Now this will just work when the weather's good. Unless you could use it in the winter and put a glove on the hand. Haha, <laughs> cute, right? My mother would have loved that. So a hand that comes out of the, the top of the car, it waves you down, it gives a thumbs up to the truckers, and it goes like this to people when you want them to pass you by. Because a lot of times nobody can see when you go like this. Yeah, go, 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 right? But no middle finger, be nice. We want to be nice to each other. Also, I'd also like the hand to let people know things like if there's a deer, if there's anything, you know, we can work it out. Like stop, you know, there's something ahead of the road. Great idea. Someone needs to invent it. Share the wealth. There's not enough people watching this, but if I had a million viewers, I know somebody would be in touch with, you know, an inventor, like the shark tanks. But here's the thing about inventing something. You need to have a patent. You need to have a patent. You can't just have an idea. You need to patent the idea, right? And then, and it usually costs about $2,800 if you're lucky, and then you're patent pending, and then you could try to get on Shark Tank and be famous. All right, here's my topic. Are you ready? Are you still there? Wonderful. Here's my topic, podcast of one, me, myself, and I. We have a big problem. The problem is we have two big, big tragedies that happen. One is man-made, the other is naturally made. Natural disasters, natural disasters, hurricanes, tornadoes, tsunamis, floods, Bad weather. Okay. Now, don't worry, I'm checking. I'm at a stop sign. I'm good to go. Now, here's the problem. We have man-made, not man, I'm sorry. We have, excuse me, excuse me, let me back up. No editing here. We have natural disasters that need to be taken care of. These hurricanes, tsunamis, all of them. I'm not gonna, you know, all of them. All natural disasters that we, we cannot really predict how bad they're gonna be. We have dams breaking. We have, well, like, it's crazy because in Asheville, there was a time I wanted to live there. So beautiful for a job. Who knew? You think those people knew? There are people, they saved up for their home, their dream home, and now everything is gone. Listen, man-made disasters versus, versus natural disasters. Are you with me? Two big problems. One's created by man where we have the ability to talk, we have technology, 
why is it we're still using bombs, weapons? Like, when will it stop? Why can't we just stop all that and focus on our money towards natural disasters? There's enough natural disasters that we can use our money for versus man-made disasters. Why is it we're still hurting each other? It doesn't make sense. There's no real evolution of man because man, women, men, humans are still hurting each other, okay? In certain parts of the world. I'm not gonna get into the parts of the world you all already know. I don't understand it, you don't understand it. I mean, we understand it. But my whole thing, when I'm thinking to myself how perfect this earth is and how it gives us life and everything is so like, here, here's this perfect planet, live on it. Yeah, there's gonna be some disasters, natural disasters. We'll see how you can deal with that, humans. But please don't create your own problems. You're gonna have enough problems from Mother Nature. Mother Nature gives us enough problems. Why are human beings, no, answer me. Do you have an answer? I wanna know, why does it never stop? Wars and violence have been since man has started talking or what? And it's always over like land and money and religion. And the thing of it is this, I never understand why, because to me, there's more people following orders than there are the people giving the orders. Forget about the people giving the orders. We do not want missiles, nukes flying. We don't, because we don't want our beautiful earth to be hurt. We don't want animals to be hurt. Obviously, obviously we don't want humans to be hurt. I'm just talking about we're given this beautiful planet and then we're given technology and everything's good, but we're like, wait a minute, you know what else is gonna improve? Our weapons. And that's the only thing that I do not understand. It's always been bad from, you know, Roman Empire when they fought, right? But they fought with their knives. You know, they had to be face to face. Now you don't have to be face to face. Now you don't even have to look your enemy, your enemy in the eye. And the truth is that in real life, in my real life, what I've experienced is people, no matter what, face to face, are good to each other, nice to each other. I don't believe, oh, people are only out for themselves, they only care about themselves. That's not true. People go out of their way to make sure you're okay. Especially in America. Not all, Americans are very friendly. Like I, <laughs> I could go up to anyone and talk to them. Some people are not that friendly. But, you know, that's okay. I'm very extroverted. But most people, you could go up to them and just start talking to them. Ask them a question, they'll give you an answer. You know what I mean? I heard in Europe, sometimes it's not as much like that. I just learned that by watching other people talk about, you know, different countries. Don't worry, I'm, I'm looking both ways. I'm looking both ways. Because I got to keep talking. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So... You know, I keep hearing people say, all right, America is giving money to this country, that country, this war, that war, but we have no money for ourselves. FEMA is not there for the people that need it. That doesn't make sense. But what doesn't really make sense is why do other countries need war? Because it goes back to my thought. For man-made problems, problems that man has created. If men, meaning men and women, us as a species, came together, We'd have such an abundance of money, it, you know, it wouldn't even be a topic of conversation. Which leads me to another question that I have while I'm taking this long drive home, is I wish I knew the truth. Just like the Matrix, all the information could just be downloaded into my mind, and I would know the truth of why everything is the way it is. Why is everything the way it is? Why are governments the way they are? And why do the millions of people follow the governments, like, it doesn't make sense, like, there's more people that can flip flip around and say to the government, no, we're not going to go to war, we're not going to fight, we're not going to hit the button, we're going to figure it out, we're going to talk it out, because one child dead, one animal dead is too much. The whole point is that if you, it's nature versus created. If you naturally die, God forbid, that's sad. If you naturally get a disease, that sucks. But if we're creating things to kill each other, there's there's no point. You understand what I'm saying? There's no point, like, things that could be avoided should be avoided. Obviously, we all have a beginning and end. Well, let the end come naturally. You see what I'm saying? 
naturally, not man-made, not man-made bombs, man-made weapons, man-made bombs. You know what's getting better and better? Technology and bombs. And you know what else is scary? Autonomous bombs. What is autonomous? Autonomous doesn't have a spirit, doesn't have a consciousness, doesn't care if it's given orders to kill. I will tell you this fact. You can check me, I might be wrong, but 80% of men in wars when they were face to face in combat did not shoot the other man. Why? Because they felt bad. Autonomous weapons won't feel bad. So my whole thing is this. Man-made versus natural disasters. Can we all just come together and just say enough? We're done dropping bombs. Just stop. Why can't we just, just stop? Stop. We can't keep going bomb for bomb for bomb for bomb for bomb for bomb for bomb because eventually they're going to keep doing bigger bombs. Like, oh, you did this bomb? I'm going to wait. I'm going to do that bomb. You did that bomb? I'm going to do this bomb. Oh, you did 100 bombs? I'm going to do 200. You did 200? Wait, now I'm going to use our giant mystery bomb that's real. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry. I'm at a stop sign. I think I, I'll let this person go. I don't know. That's all right. It's like you're sitting right here next to me. Are they going to go? Oh, they're going to turn in front of me, but that's all right. I do the speed limit now. I got caught once. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you the truth. One time I was driving, I was doing 73 on this road here. It's just me and the cows. You know what I'm saying? And the cop, he stopped me. It was like six in the morning. And he was such a nice cop. He let me go. Yes, I was wearing my scrubs. And he gave me a warning. And ever since that warning, I do the speed limit, 55, 60, which is good because you got the deer and you could slow down if there's a deer 70 versus 55 and you should do the speed limit now i got people going around me before i was going around them you see karma anyway so let's get back to uh this the question i just it, it's like listen when we get news what is the news right the news is informing us of what bad things that are happening how naturally natural stuff that's happening or stuff that human beings are doing whether that be one-on-one -on -one crime or war, right? If only we could just go, you know what? You have enough problems. You know what? No more man-made stuff. We're just going to stop. No more bombs. No more nukes. But it's like we have to protect ourselves from ourselves. You know, this is we're supposed to be the species who won. We're the species that made it. We're the species who figured it out. We're creative, we have spirits, we have souls, you know, we create all this stuff, or they created, I cannot create this. If it was up to me, I'd still be in a canoe and living up in a tree. I wouldn't have any of this technology. Thank you, geniuses, for making this stuff. Um, but you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I wish that, it doesn't matter that I wish, because from the beginning of time, man has always created these weapons. I absolutely hate when I see a dead animal on the road. Does it break your heart? It breaks my heart. Mm. Anyway, let's figure this out. How can we stop bombs dropping? Can we stop? Or is it always going to be you drop the bomb, I drop a bomb? Man-made versus natural. But then guess what? Mother Nature, she's not doing it on purpose. It's just natural. Natural bad things happening, you know. Mother Nature didn't plan on human beings building homes right on the coast and having 15 feet wave surges. No, she didn't or he didn't. Mother Nature, man nature. It's all nature. So are you with me? Let's get rid of man-made terror. I just don't get it. It just needs to stop. I get it, you're in so much pain, you just want to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but when does it end? You know what I mean? It's not just us. It's this beautiful planet and all the beautiful animals too. Let's say you're not a people person. Let's say you're like, oh, I don't care, forget the people. All right, forget the people. But it's not just us. There's all these beautiful animals. We're messing it up for them too, even, even if you don't like people. I get it, I get it. Some days I don't like people either, but for the most part, I don't know. People are nice to me. I'm nice to them. I like people. They're creative. They're interesting. As long as you're not a sociopath or psychopath or pedophile, you're disgusting. Give you a pill, put you to sleep forever. You know, there's a lot of disgusting people. But so besides them, we put them on an island, let it sink. People are good. 
not 100% good, but we could just sell them out with the same pill they give the astronauts when they put them into space. And then we're done. But let's give a round of applause for our truckers and wave to them and give them a thumbs up when they're driving by, delivering our food and our medical supplies and the dog food and the cat food and the parts for the cars. Huh, that longshoreman thing, they only went three days and then they got their 62% back to work. They're against mostly automation. You know who else does automation? China. Everything is automated. Everything. That's why everything costs a dollar. Because, you know, they ship things cheap. They don't have to pay people. We don't want automation. We all need a job. We all need a job so we complain about it. We're tired and we have something to vent about. If we don't go to work, what are we going to complain about? If we don't go to work, we're not going to be tired. We need to be tired from something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's good to go to work. Either you're going to be sitting home, tired and miserable, or at least you're at work tired and miserable, but you can make yourself happy. Be happy you have something to do. Listen, we're the only species that we all complain. You know, I see a lot of people online. Oh, I hate working. I hate working. Listen, I get it. Five days a week, I'm like the stock market. I'm up and down. Today's a good day. I'm not going to film myself. I'm listening in a good mood. I'm not trying to project any kind of, you know, bad emotion. I want you to feel good because you should feel good about being you. You know, the fact that you're alive is a miracle, right? But every other species does a job, doesn't get paid for it. Every other job risks its life, doesn't get paid for it. Every other species, 90% of the time is looking for a place to live and looking for something to eat. That's it. Everybody's looking for the meaning of life. The meaning is this. Do you have food? Do you have water? Do you have shelter? Done. You're done. You have everything. Now you got too much time on your hands and you're trying to look for a purpose. Because you're bored. Well, here, I'm going to give you something to do. If you're bored, if you feel like you don't have a purpose, please, I'll give you something easy to do. You got about 50 animals in an animal shelter who are stuck in a cage. That could be you. It's all random. And give them some love. Give them some attention. Heck, drop off some paper towels because they need it. Drop off some cat litter. They need it. Drop off some food. They need it. You know what else they need? Attention. Cats. They could be a hundred cats. And they're all in a room. But for some reason, when a human being walks in the cage, they want you. They want you. You know, the most important thing you could give anything is attention. The most important thing you could do is let people know they're important. Regardless of what they do. What we do, it's really not... You know, that important what you do. It's your essence. It's who you are. Right? Don't worry. I'm looking. This person's turning. I see another car coming around fast. I'm going to wait for them to go just to be nice. <sighs> All right. They're going. They're going. My turn. My turn. My turn. I don't think the car was shaking that much during the video. I think that's because I was slowing down. I think I need an alignment, but I also need my oil changed. And you know how it is. When you work, I just can't wait to get home work out, eat, watch the news, and then go to sleep. I'm just like you. I'm doing the same thing you're doing. I'm watching it like this hurricane. Oh my God. Let me, I lived in Florida. Can I just tell you? I lived in Florida. I'm going to tell you everything. I lived in a trailer. Yes, I lived in a trailer, double wide, don't be jealous, with my mother <laughs> in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Ah, I never had friends over. You can imagine why. But anyway, I hated it. And I hated the roaches. Ugh. That's why I like living up north. And I want to tell you something else. You're not going to believe this. But right now in the Midwest, we're getting like the best weather ever. Like nobody wants to live here. Illinois is ill. Who cares? But I don't know. We're getting weather like they have in California. Don't tell them in California because they're going to want to come here. It's like summer lasts forever. It's October. We've been getting 80s, 70s, 80s, 70s. It hasn't rained in like a, like a month. It rains like a few times. I don't know. Things are drying up here. But that's the thing, you know? You just, it's random, it's random. One more thing I wanna say. I feel bad for people. It's like, you always think it's gonna be better when you go somewhere else. Like I can say, oh, I wanna get out of here. I wanna live somewhere better. Then you move to that better place. There's a hurricane, there's a tornado, there's an earthquake. Like, I feel like the thing you're trying to escape, it like finds you, it finds you. Anyway, about living in Florida. Yeah, so I lived in Florida and I remember we had a few of the hurricanes and um, the electricity went out. The trailer was still there, thank God. And uh, I hated living in Florida. Number one, because I like cold weather. I like the change of seasons. 
Two, it's very expensive. Three, the hurricanes. Four, again, I'm not a hot year person. You know what I mean? I, I like hills and nature and whatever. But um, the point of it is that these people, I feel so bad, but again, that's the risk they take for living in Florida. You know what I mean? But again, we're all watching this storm. Milton went from a one, two, three, four, five within hours. Nine o'clock, it was 90 miles an hour. 11 o'clock, it was 100 miles an hour. 12 o'clock, it was, what, like 130 miles an hour. I mean, it's like God is literally like, mm, he's like turning the switch up, having fun. I don't know. I don't know. He's mad at people in Florida. I don't know. I don't know. But again, the thing I'm worried about, listen, I love people, but the animals. Make sure you get those animals out of the shelter because I will tell you, I like people. Animals, you know, they they're so innocent. They, they just want to be loved. You know what I'm saying? So take care of those animals. Get them out of the shelter. My dream, if I was rich, a no-kill animal shelter. Because I tell you, I have one cat right now. I'm taking care of her. Someone abandoned her. She's our baby now. She's about six and a half years old. It's funny. She originally is from Oklahoma. And I think her original owners, they got swept up in a tornado. They're gone. <laughs> So now she ended up here in Illinois and then they abandoned her and now we picked her up. Now she's ours. She's one lucky girl though because, you know, she scratched at the right door, took her in. Ah, I'm almost home now. I got some cows to the left, to the left. I love the cows. I really do. If it was up to me, if I was rich, I'd have a cow too. But everything costs money. All the heat is pay and it's expensive. Hey, imagine if all I ate was hay. God, I'd be cheap to take care of. Nope. Expensive to live, but at least you know we're not a dung beetle rolling poop all day and then getting it stolen by another dung beetle. If that happens, look it up. All right, I guess I will end this video because I'm almost home and I think the car's shaking. You're probably annoyed. Listen, I can't always do wrestling videos, I have no one to wrestle. I work really hard. Someone quit at my job, so it's just me. That's right. Um, I'm with patience all day up and down up and down and patients out patients sometimes I get home you know I don't have time I just have time I just want to work out sometimes I don't work out sometimes I just sit there ready to like you know meet my maker I'm so tired <laughs> meet my maker <laughs> how you doing <laughs> oh that's funny but I'm a happy person you know what I'm saying so when it's time to meet my maker I'm fine with it fine with it but hopefully not for another I don't know 50 years I want to see how the world turns out, but I don't want any nukes to fly. So can we all come to the conclusion, let's stick to natural disasters, not man-made disasters, and the world will be a better place. Why is this so hard to do? I don't know. You tell me why. You tell me why. We just need to stop. We can't keep going back and forth because eventually the back and forth isn't, isn't going to be going back anymore, if you know what I mean, because it'll be over. We don't want that. We got to keep this mother earth or papa earth good. Thank you for watching. I'm going to do talking videos until I do the kind of videos you like, okay? I, I have to keep it, I have to do something, okay? And if 10 people watch, that's all I need. I'm not here for the numbers. I'm just here for you. Thank you for watching. And you know what? I'm not going to say have a great day. I'm just going to say eat a meal that makes you feel really good and have some dessert too.